in this video I'll show you how to make this DIY bracelet with craft supplies that you probably already have laying around. This is just another fun way to upcycle your old bangles and make them into something a little bit more interesting. If you want to see more DIYs like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrina Osti. Check out my podcast on its own YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen. For this project, you'll need jewelry pliers, a second pair is helpful, wire cutters, scissors, two bangles, two colors of embroidery thread, and some chain. Begin by taking your bangle and measuring your first color of embroidery thread five times around the bangle. This doesn't have to be an exact measurement, you just want to make sure you're not going to run out of embroidery thread. This step is optional, but I find it's helpful to put a knot in one end of the embroidery thread and then slip something like a head pin or an eye pin through it. This just gives you an easier end to work with because it's sort of on a needle and it makes it easier to stitch through the chain links. Then take the other end of your embroidery thread and measuring out about two inches from the end of your chain, put your embroidery thread through that chain link and then tie it onto your bangle. Make sure you tie it in a tight knot that is not going to slip out because this is going to be the foundation of your bracelet. Then after you've done that, take the end of your embroidery thread and pass it through that same link and then around the outside of the bangle, then pass it through the chain link again. Before you pull it all the way tight, you'll notice that there is now a loop there and before you pull it and close up that loop, pass the end of your thread down through the top of the loop and then pull it tight. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way around your bracelet. So just move down to the next large link, going through the back of the link, pull your thread through, then around the bangle, and then through the back of the link again, and before you pull it tight, take the end of your embroidery thread down through the loop, and then pull it tight to close up the loop. And it's really just as simple as that. Now in this chain I have large links and small links, so I'm skipping the smaller ones, but if all of the links in your chain are the same size, then you can do consecutive links or you can skip one. I think it makes it look a little bit more interesting to have varying sizes of links in the chain, but again you can use whatever you have lying around. Again you're going to go through the back of the chain link, then around the outside of the bangle, then through that same link again, and before you pull it tight to close up the loop, pass the end of your thread down through the loop, then pull the thread to pull the loop shut. And once you've gone almost all the way around your bracelet, you're going to have to cut your excess chain off so that you can attach that end link onto the end of your chain that has been dangling this entire time that you've been working. Simply open up one of the links and then close it over the end of the chain and you have a solid chain bracelet that is now attached to your bangle bracelet. Then continue stitching your embroidery thread until you get to the beginning of your embroidery thread and then simply tie it off in a knot and that is one side of your bracelet finished. Then you're going to take your second color of embroidery thread and repeat this exact same process except the chain is already going to be attached to the other bangle. So it's actually a little bit easier to do it this time. You simply tie that chain onto your new bangle and then continue the exact same stitching process all the way around your bracelet until you get back to the beginning. Then tie it off the exact same way you tied off the other side and then cut off the excess thread and if you want you can seal the knots with some clear nail polish or super glue but I leave it just as is and that is your finished bracelet thanks for watching if you want to see more DIYs like this one let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please click the like button it really helps my videos get seen